really good. <laughs> oh god. I definitely wasn't just talking to myself for like a solid however long, going absolutely insane. Fucking crazy bitch. Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> Okay. Anyways, um, I just watched the Dryad get taken by the real god. So. Um. Fuck. You would have seen it if you were. Yeah, him, I, so I'm... I saw that, and I relayed you that information saw that, and to you. You told me. Yes. And so. Because I was here. Yeah, the Dryad just got, because the Dryad was out by the tavern and went inside the tavern, and then I saw two royal gods, and I was like, oh shit. Well, you saw. Royal gods and you were like, oh shit. And then um you saw one of them go into the tavern and then one of them come back out with the dryad and head towards the castle. So they have the dryad. They have mirror adults and one is nowhere to be seen. Yeah, I know I was there. <laughs> told you all this. Exactly. You told me all this and now I'm just freaking out. Okay, uh fuck, what's the play? I don't know. There is no play. We fucking do, just sit up here. <laughs> I don't know, what do we do? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't even—I don't think they're looking for us. I mean, clearly we're just fucking. Well, they obviously idiots. nabbed Arn because Arn was up there with us you in the meeting. Did? Well, have you seen Lucian around? Have I seen Lucian around? Uh, Lucian was that you—you saw Lucian down there a little bit to go with Ian Del, but I don't know if he was sticking it up because I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Oh my god, fuck. Up, up, up. Um, fuck. Because I know Arn was telling Ian Dell to run, or was he telling all of us to run? I don't know. They're telling, well, I think he said all of us. Mainly Ian Dell, probably. Uh, well, fuck. <sighs> what do they want with us? We're just the two idiots who don't know anything. Everyone else is there for plot reasons and real, you know, shit, what? and we're just kind of there. We're being like, do do do. You know? What is plot? Like everyone, like, has, like, a reason to be there, and I don't know. I told you, I'm going insane. Um,. Well, I just assume they're looking for everyone who was in that room. Right. Because they would assume that everyone in that room would know something. Shit. Are we going on a super, super secret spy mission to go down there and see if we are taken? Um. Us. I don't add fuel to the fire, that's the thing. And I don't know if you're still going on that mission. Because I'm getting I sleepy. Know. Same. And I am confused. Okay, so let's say. If they have taken them, they're probably in a place we can't get to them, right? The yes, you're right, round you're table right. room or the king's quarters or Forgotus chambers or something. So I was going there. Yeah. I mean, fuck, we're not going to bust them It would out. make no sense. <laughs> Kick the door open. <laughs> All right, bitches. <laughs> Give me back my dad. <laughs> Give me back my dad. Reverse taken. Okay, so... What then? I have no idea. The past, what, hour or so has just been absolute confusion and overturning everything that we thought was going on. And now I'm just incredibly confused and I don't know what to do with my life anymore. I honestly didn't even think I'd make it this long. I thought it was going to be dead, dead by now, so. Yeah. We just kind of wait up here and hope uh, for the best, or like. I. That's what I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'm really bad at making decisions. Well, what decision is there to be made? What can we do? We can't do anything. I, well, yeah, that's the thing. That, that, that's the, that's the <laughs> problem that I'm facing here, is that we don't have anything that we can do. I, I was just confused. <sighs> what are you confused about? Because I don't know what to do. Hmm. My legs hurt. And I'm tired. Same. I'm sitting on Same. this box. No. Mine. Thank God there's a box. 
Boxy, boxy, box. Well, then we need. Let me. Let me... <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! Rude. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my gods. Gods. <sighs> Here's your box. No, fuck it. I don't want it. Here you go. No, I don't want it anymore. Go the fuck to that. I'm going to smite them out of the sky with my metagaming powers. <sighs> oh, what the fuck? Why is that fucking out? Oh, God. What's up, gamer? <laughs> Kyler, when you return home, Splodges will not be there. <laughs> Bitch, what? That asshole did not just kill off the cat. I mean, the javelins had to go somewhere tonight. <sighs> yeah, and Arn was right there, alright? <laughs> Do I need to, like, stop my hands from going Speaking numb? Speaking of javelins. Speaking of javelins? Trina. Yeah. Lavender whistling. What? What? I hear a what? You cut out. With an eleven, whistle through the wind. I hear a whistle through the wind. A whistle of what? Or just a whistle? I'm so confused. Just wind. It's fucking cold. Oh. Well, why did you say speaking of javelins? I'm trying to suck you up. Javelins <gasps> in the <already> sank. <laughs> I love Stan. Say again. I said Kyler understands. Oh. Well, I'm choosing not to because you fucked my box, you asshole. That wasn't me. Fucking asshole. I'm gonna plug my fucking hands in because who fucking knows how long I'm gonna be up here for. I know, right? I'm. I might have to do it myself. We'll see. You're gonna go to the border by yourself. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah. Fuck on. <laughs> yeah. You want you want to go with me? <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Fuck it, let's go now. All right. All right. You hear that? Going on DM. A trip to ah! What the fuck? Ah! Oh, God! My that eyes. Was that was who the fuck was that me? Oh God. <laughs> Don't alert people that we're here, cat. I didn't mean to. Is your camera on um? On the greeny mode? one. Just Stroke my chat. I'll stroke your chat <laughs> if I want to. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. <laughs> it looks horrifying. That's a... <laughs> Does it? <laughs> okay, let me uh. Got to know. I'll rotate it. There you go. Okay. God damn it. Stop fucking with my chat. Fuck with them if I want to. No. <sighs> so. Honestly, there's a part of me that hopes that, you know, after all this realization of, you know, the Empire not actually, you know, coming this way well means that well this way through through the border sorry it means that we don't have to go to the border because that'd be lovely we wouldn't have to leave as much as i hate this place you still might have, have to. to say goodbye God. i know Arn will probably still make us well fulgrith has because, ordered says, mirandel to do it and if it doesn't get accomplished 
right, it was Falgrith. <sighs> that means we are going for sure. Fuck. Unless they're talking to Falgrith now and he's like, upon further inspection. <laughs> that was a very good impression, actually. It's me, Falgrith. It's me, Falgrith. I don't want to go. I... I don't want... I don't want to have to say goodbye. It's fine, because you're coming back, so... <sighs> right. You said you were going to, so... Ah... Uh, yes. Exactly. Regardless, there's a part of me that's worried that when I get back, there won't be anything to come back to. <sighs> if the Empire is, is coming, and if they're coming soon, it, I might not return in time. I'm worried... By the time we get here, this will all be ash. Oh, is that the end of? You can tell on someone else. On, hopefully? Mm, he's they're gonna be in the light in a second. Looks like Blaze. Oh. Going into the guild hall. Hmm. Well, at least they haven't been what? executed. That's good at least. I don't mean to be, uh, I don't mean to offend you or anything, Kat, mm -hmm. but, um, would you, Anon, being here, stop that anyway? No, it, it's no offense at all, sorry. Uh, it wouldn't stop it. But... Making sure the ones we care about are still alive and get out of here is what I'm worried about. Just... Hear me out. If... Ledford is, is used as bait, and, you know, you won't see reinforcements for quite a while, there's likely going to be a... lot of death. I told you this already, but I'm hoping after after those reinforcements, they'll maybe evacuate or something. They can't be so heartless as to leave all the people here. To die, I don't know. But if there's a chance, make sure you are part of that evacuation. Make sure you get out. That's all I'm saying. That's all. If I'm not here to ensure that, and then you're capable, I'm not saying that at all. But I don't know. Just play it safe. Don't risk your life for a shithole like this. I wouldn't. I'd risk it for the people in it. People I care yeah. about. And, uh, well, they're kind of going on a mission without me. So. Trust you. I. If I could drag you with us, I, could. I would. I. It's okay. I would ruin it. No, no. I would. They would see a drow and be like, Ugh! It's okay. All I'm saying is... We're not... We're not leaving you. We're leaving this place. For now. That's all. 
with me in it. But I know what you're saying. With hopes that maybe we can do something to protect this place. Mm -hmm. Protect you. It shouldn't be about me, Cap. It is. Why? It's about the ones we care about. We don't... Like you said, we don't... Want the ones we care about to die. That's why I'm going, at least. I'm going because it's an opportunity for me to do something to protect those I care about. To maybe m make a difference with <laughs> whatever is going to happen here. I know. And all I'm asking is for you to to live, Kyla. But on for me. Skew the same. I Swings know. and <laughs> circles. I guess. Yes. <laughs> Why are you so set on that? Because I hope that if I do survive, I want to be able to see you afterwards. I want to be able to. eventually see you again. <sighs> and I, I think you have a lot more life to live. A lot more good life. There are things keeping me from moving forward that I... without them gone, I can't look into the future. What do you mean? Do you know why I don't sleep? Because whenever you close your eyes, you see horrible things? My mother, the things that happened back in Gradio. I... I need to sort that out. I need to sort my past out before I can move forward. Otherwise, I'll just keep being broken. But... My question is... to you. Are you really living if you're only living in the past? Do I need to sort it out? You're gonna spend your entire life... seeking revenge... so that you can just live? If I have to. What if you never find your revenge? You lived this whole life, but you never would have actually lived. After everything happened in Coricardus, Caracadus, I um, just kind of went along the coast and another small town, smaller city, a trading city, nothing major. And just kind of existed there for a while. Tried everything to just kind of forget about it, to, to move on, to leave it behind me, and look to where I'm going, not where I've been. And I couldn't. And the, the brief moments of... serenity were brought to me <laughs> from said... Right. I tried, I tried I forgetting, I tried moving on, I tried leaving the entire kingdom, I tried leaving Gradia itself, came yeah. here, and what showed up, Red Knives, and the man who yeah, would know what happened. You. Yeah, I need yeah. to sort it out, otherwise it's going to keep following me. Can't escape it. No. Yeah. So, you see what I mean now? I understand. Hmm. Is there a way for you to, however, do both? Also, Live in the present, live in the moment, live for the future, and simultaneously 
do what you can to quote unquote forget the past or avenge it. That don't like lose sight of just don't lose sight of who you are. Don't be consumed with revenge. I don't know who I am, cat. You can find it. I'm getting closer and closer. Good. Very conflicted for a long time. Uh, is that on? <laughs> I don't know if we meant to see that. I think so. I think he I came out of the... Um, out of character. Oh. Open. Right. Oh, fuck. Out of character, I saw him uh, open up the gate. It was now. Oh. I thought he was coming up here. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, great owl of the woods. Goodbye, a great, great arrow. arrow. Oh. oh my god, it's that. It's magic. <laughs> oh look, a crossbow in this box. <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye. Didn't realize it was such a good shot, Kyla. Only when I see things that I despise. Um, I don't know. Anyways. I don't know if I can live in the past the future and the present all at the same time it seems very <laughs> confusing and that's fair it's probably something to work at but I'm getting better I'm starting to figure out that I don't need to be anything specific I, I can just be me yeah. but exactly Kind of getting that out of my head is hard for sure. Having people like you and Arn yep. to keep me grounded is, I think, has helped a lot. Good. Good. You're Kyla. No, nothing else. And everything else. Everything that Kyla is, you are that. It's up to you to figure out what that is exactly. Good or bad. But, well, like you said, you've let Arn and I in. Beyond that tough shell on the outside. To the... Soft earth inside. And it's done good to you in return. I have to keep that armor on, though. I know you've only let... Yes, I know. And you don't need to, you know, open yourself up to everyone. I know you, you've had bad experiences of opening yourself up to people who've only done you harm, who've darkened that that light inside of you. So just don't close yourself off in general. They'll keep you isolated, but just be just choosy with who you do let inside. Only let people who will do better. Sometimes we make mistakes, let the wrong people in, that's fine. But you learn from that. It's the people around us who shape who we are. Surround yourself with good people and that's what you'll become. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's good and bad. I feel like I walk a grey area it's most of my area. life. <laughs> I don't think that there's a... strong black and white, good and bad. Most of the world is grey. No one is strictly good or bad. They're gone. That's for sure. Mm, finally. Light the torch. Fuck. <laughs> Ow. I get dumbies and dumbies. I know it's fucking blinding. He's coming. You can turn it out now. Ah, uh, there he goes. All right. You said you wanted to talk to me before you left. Assuming you saw it, uh, leaving. It was this. It's this. This is what I wanted to talk about, Vader. Not dying. I'm on the fucking roof now. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it was honestly, yeah. I wanted to talk to you about this. I wouldn't be okay if I left without knowing that you 
would be okay as well. I can't promise you anything, but yes. Yeah, and I can't promise you anything either, but yes. <laughs> Good. Making promises up here? No, you say we can't make promises. Never. Mm-hmm. What was that all about? <sighs> yeah, for fuck's sake. Not sure. All I know is both Mirandel and the Dryad were pulled aside by the Royal Guard. Oh, we assumed you got pulled aside too. Took a time showing up. No. Right. I was still in the building while they were questioning them. I couldn't exactly leave. They had it locked down. Hmm. I see. We saw Yindel come out. They might have asked questions. Did you see Mirandel leave? I did not. That was very weird timing on their part. They came up with a lot of them as well. Like they were expecting... It's terrifying, yeah. ...conflict. I don't think the timing was weird at all. I think we were getting too callous. Mm -hmm. They've heard us. It's not hard to hear from the stairwell. <clears throat> Mirandil can't hear people knocking on the fucking door when I want to get into the scribery. <laughs> well, are you going... Are you making a knocking sound, or are you saying knock, knock? Saying knock, knock. Then he just doesn't want you in there. Rude. <laughs> he did call you dark the other day. Yeah, he's a oh, bit of a... Especially rude. Uh, very ill-intentional, yeah. The friend Kylo is very dark. His humor? No. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, Mirandel. No, Mirandel. He'll be the kind of person to turn around like, No, it's okay, I'm friends with two of them. <laughs> I'm friends with a child. I'm not racist. <laughs> Fucking Christ. God damn. So, I can hear him say that. what's the, uh, what's the plan? I just, uh, well, I'll tell you after, uh, I just stretched to go get these, um, shoelaces. Oh. And, uh, I cracked my back where I could, it's almost like when you're, if you cover two things and jam and pull them apart, it's what I felt my vertebrae doing. That is and I'm trying disgusting. not to scream in agony. <laughs> That's the pain that I now feel in my lower lumbar. Get an old arm. Being reminded that I'm nothing but a meat mech. Oh but if God. anyone had the magic to keep a brain alive, I could just be put in a jar. Oh my God, on. What That's the fuck? Very vivid. Are you alright? <laughs> yeah, what what happens? I'm starting to think that Kyla is the one we need to worry about, but on. Yeah, have some serenity, dude. Just chill out. <laughs> fucking chill. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> just sit over here smoking. <laughs> like, we all just get right, fucking baked. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh man, dude. <laughs> Our tinfoil hat is <clears throat> fucking potatoes. So. We're going to say something. What's the plan? The plan for what? Well, is it still the same? Has it changed now that we know that there's potentially ooh, stuff going on? Are you two still going? You'll forgive me. Yeah, I'll be... I, I view what we were fucking around with in the forest as some fairy tale bullshit. Yeah. What is real, what is coming, what is happening is the Empire. Very well. That is real, that is palpable, that we know. Who's asking? I didn't mean that as a lashing out, I'm just saying matter of factly. <clears throat> Poor Kyla has his feeling hurt. <laughs> um. So, what are you. Is this an overnight thing, or you, what, what, when will you be back? When should I expect you? What I understand, we've been given forces. So we will leave in the middle of the night, which should be 
don't know why I look at my wrist. Um, it's the moon shadow reflects off your knuckles. We established this. You can tell roughly where the moon is in relation. About uh, two hours after midnight. Mm. Mm. If we're on horseback, we should be at Dawnmire by morning. Mm. That's the city. The town. From what I was told, yes. <sighs> really something I'm looking forward to. No. <laughs> Neither. I was hoping you wouldn't even have to go, but no, you're right. We don't have eyes on the border. We're fucked if we don't. We're fucked regardless, honestly. Do what we can, though, right? We do what we can. Yeah. We survive. <sighs> On the one hand, I'm still livid with Mirando. Mm. On the other, I understand. Grasping for anything that will save us. I get it. He's also just generally fascinated by that stuff, too. You can't let that kind of thing get in the way when we're doing something like this. Can't. Mm. Fascination will get you killed. Obsession, get yeah. Others killed. It's hard to tell what is important enough that we need to risk us, like, you know. <clears throat> yeah. How long do you think Redford will hold against the Empire before... Oh. The Emp Redford's being used as bait, right? That's what Mirren said? Bait before troops fully sweep in and actually help? How long do you think they'll really hold out against the Empire? How many casualties? We have a river. That alone is very helpful for stopping infantry. <clears throat> Absolutely negates cavalry. Right. So even if the walls were breached, unless they took the time to build bridges under arrow fire, <laughs> the cavalry would be useless here. The river will right. slow most advances, but the river continues off in that direction, not by our walls. It's entirely possible that they ford the river out of our sight and set up a siege camp near us and besiege this side of the wall, which is the easiest to hit. However, right. if they decide to come from the front, which I think most assuredly they will, if they take that hill, it's over. The one that's outside the palisade. Archers on that hill would be able to hit everything. Yeah. Why have we not built this over there? Because, because of the river. It would be very hard to get reinforcements across without us making multiple access points across the river, negating Giving that advantage. Multiple access points, yes. 
The more ways we make for ourselves across, the more ways we make for our enemies. Are we supposed to hold that hill then? We're not. We can't. That's going to be the linchpin. Fine. If I was to make a guess, if it's Lard is a fool, and the militia isn't rash, Leatherford could probably stand for about four, maybe five days. Total. They now factor me into that. Uh. We're talking like five or six days now? <laughs> maybe for it. <laughs> that hurt more than any <laughs> Empire arrow would ever. Oh no. <laughs> you wounded the boy's confidence. I thought that's what you were up here already doing. I was worried I interrupted. <laughs> no. It's alright. Just, uh... Making sure he doesn't do anything stupid while we're gone. Right. Anyway. When that does take place... I have full belief of the reason why the militia is the way it is is because of its use. Militia shouldn't have corporals, it should have a captain or a sergeant. The fact that they're splitting it up underneath two different forms of leadership makes me think that they'll be breaking us up into two different squads of men. Mm. I think that the militia might be used to harass the Empire as they're trying to set up their camps, set up their trade routes. I think we'll be sent into the woods Try and hit them where they don't expect it before we retreat back. Right. In theory, it could work. People of Ledford know their woods much better than any invading force would. What but about those to be... bandit thingies? Those, are they even still around? From what Mirandel said, because of the deals he made with them, there's about 30 to 40 that will be remaining here to help. That They're could be useful. Slaves. Less yeah. useful. Better useful. Don't underestimate people like that. Hmm. Do you consider yourself useless in combat? Most of the time. Let's be realistic now. In very specific situations, yes. Or oh, I feel like I'm confident. Places like the crypts we were in the other night, with thin walkways, I can't get behind the enemies, I'm basically useless. That's why I sat back. Do so you have a specialty that you don't focus on? Mm -hmm. I'm not good in one-on-one. -on -one. I can barely hold my own two-on-one -on -one and I'm gone. I can't pick fights straight on like that. Not as I am now. That's why the training was so good that you showed me the blocks, because that's my sword hand. I can defend myself a bit better. But it's still new to me, so. Show Cat the punch to that. <laughs> she was not happy with it. <laughs> the punch? It hurt. <laughs> he punched me during the soul raid. That wasn't fair. You punched Cat? <laughs> Very I punched back, it's alright. She probably fucking deserved it. She hit me hard. <laughs> Payback. Hmm. Hmm. Whenever you slice your sword at a torso, the, the shoulders, when they go to meet you with the block on the same side, you follow through with a strike to the face, you'll almost always knock them off guard. That's why I have my dagger in my right hand. I figured that much, but those orcs were too strong for me to kind of push their arms out in no snow. Trust me, those things were exhausting to find. Mm. Yeah. My chainmail saved my fucking life. Holds up his left arm, all down here is split open and pulled apart. You see bandages on the yeah, mine too. 
need to get that fixed. Time for the money. Or the time. Apparently it's gonna take two fucking days to stitch it up. Who said that? Steel. It's not gonna take two days, it should take one. Hmm. He also said there's a lot of orders going in. Maybe that's why it's taking two days. Um, that's my big one. Yeah. I figured I'd wait at least until they're all done. That way I'd have something on in case something happens. Let's be more cautious of my left. Which is weird because that's where my sword hand is and I shouldn't be getting hit from there. I should be getting... But... They were fast, I guess. It's always my left. Have you noticed that? No. Always been in my left leg. Have... Or my left shoulder. Looks like you need to guard your left side. I'm thinking I just get half plate, but only on like this part of my body. Oh my god, that would look ridiculous. Well, you look ridiculous. I got lucky a few times there. A few times I probably should have been a lot more injured than I was. I'm not complaining. I understand I should be dead. I got shield bashed at least eight times by those fucking orcs. I don't know how I'm not like Baylor at the moment. Halo. I don't know why everybody ran in different fuck directions rather than staying behind me. Mm. Right turn, there was an enemy. Separated. The only people I had next to me was the injured dwarf. Balo being carried by the injured dwarf. And Sarah. We had a troll and like four or five orcs at first. Mm. Not good odds. I tried to stay next Thankfully, to you guys. The mm. Lost sight of us. That's good. But we gained more orcs. We tried to head to the that David fucker's hut. Maybe hide in there, but there were already orcs there. Everywhere. Great. So we had to cut yeah. off to the right, and they just they caught up, and I had to drop Baylo. Started fighting. Baylor got fucking impaled right into his lung. Oh. Sunk a sword right into him. We fought like mad. I was exhausted, but I managed to pick him up. And, uh... We decided to head for the chapel. It's the only thing I could think of now that... Trolls were nearby. We get in there and I manage to throw him in the back room. And this fucker is trying to get me to leave him. Can't even talk. Coughing up blood. Just telling me to fucking go the whole time. As if I would. I was running out of full out sprint for about 20 minutes. <laughs> Being chased by orcs and a troll. Did every trick I could to lose them in the woods. Hiding, sneaking, they just found me immediately. Troll was not slowed down by the trees at all or anything like that, it was... No. I did this really cool thing though, I, I ran through this brush of trees, the really thick ones, and I threw myself against the back of it. It ran past me, didn't realize I'd hidden in there. The troll goes off, and the two orcs are there. And they stop and they start smelling. They start smelling for where I am. And they look right at me. Mm. But then they kind of start smelling other things and they turn around. As soon as they both turn around, I ran out, speared one through the back, and took off again immediately. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. But it didn't, didn't work a second time. <laughs> no, I suspect not. <clears throat> <sighs> I 
So we leave in a few hours, then, Fifi. About an hour and a half. Right. Okay. And uh. Do you think we'll be back before the Empire attacks? If we're back. It's okay, you don't need to answer that, it's all right. I've said my farewells. Sad, Kyla? Question mark. Best case scenario, we find out that nothing's wrong. Turn around and come back. <laughs> right. Right, yeah, that's... In that case, ah. Uh... Don't want to be a bother if you two want to talk or anything. You're not a bother, Cam. Welcome back. For the lies, next time I've got to hear this one spelling about how everybody he cares about disappears or dies. Mm hmm. I'm tired of hearing him. You've got my drugs too, so. I guess you have to come back Do now. Where? Leave him in the house. Top drawer. You're an adult. Use it when you need to. Okay. And I trust you to do that. Um, I could give them to Iandale in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I'll drop it off with her before I leave. Sorry. It's alright. I'd rather you be truthful. That's why I gave them back this morning. I noticed. I'm proud of you. I 
That shit is gone through. Nothing to be proud of. It's fine. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, Kyla. We don't know what waits for us on the border. We don't know what's going to be there. It is very possible that we both wind up dead in the ditch. I know. Don't know if that's the case. We will make every effort possible because, as strange as this may be to you, I like not being dead in a ditch. So mm. we will try to not turn into such a thing. Where you throw yourself into battle. Good case. <laughs> Speaks otherwise. Go ahead. I know. I'll make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. <laughs> A party was scattered, Carla. I was half joking. It's okay. I know. No, you don't do that shit reckless. I'm a reckless person, aren't you? Best case scenario. With the information we've been given. Somebody has stopped communications. Worst case scenario. We're going to come up to a city that has empire flags flying above it. In which case, we will still have to enter and find out how, what, where, when, why. Here's another thing to worry about. If they could hear us from the stair we were talking about, what we were talking about before. Uh, I don't know how loosely people have talked about what you two are doing. What if? I know. I've thought about it. Already had Cade Shilbrook walk up to me in the forge and say, <coughs> "You're leaving tonight." I, don't know how he heard I that. saw that. I have no idea how he heard that at all. Nor do I. And then when I asked him. It was like, oh, it must have been someone else. Very weird response. Very strange, yes. <sighs> Worrying, at the least. I don't... I don't want to think about it, but what if they know you're... Facing an enemy that I, I know defiantly than anything else. That's what Tarek said. I'd rather just not die. That's what he did. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. boy was conflicted and foolish. Yeah. I know. Too full of self-idealism. I have no doubt that he was good at heart. But 
his rationale was... I don't think it was for the right reasons. Seemed more like spiting his father rather than the actual empire yeah. itself. Ultimately, they the tea. Let's hope we go and at least. Say what? Let's hope when we go, we get some information that will benefit everything. That's what I hope. Last thing I want is I'm to not... go on a mission that is fruitless again. I'm not worried about that. We'll yeah. find something out one way or the other. Which is refreshing, it's... especially after it's everything. What we find out on the way. You see something unnatural from the scrubber. It seems to be flames. They're undulating. Does not seem to be from torchlight. It's really that old way. Hmm? Why? Why? You see smoke coming from one of the windows. The. There's smoke coming from the scribe, right? Oh, fuck. What? What do you mean? What? Come on. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what the uh. fuck? <clears throat> Fuck's sake. Can someone open the fucking gates? Thank you. Look, get some water. Why is everyone going to get water? Grab Sorry. buckets, fill them with water. Grab buckets, fill them with water. Yeah, buckets. Let's go. Grab the one next to it. <sighs> Don't the other one in. I got the strength. <sighs> go. <clears throat> Hurry. Go, go, go. Okay, grab that one. Go. Right. Next one. Go. Dominic! Dominic fucking stabbed him! Twice! What? I think we have a fucking answer. Oh my god. It's fire out! 
can't take him. All right. I need to deal with this. Come on. He's, he's, wait, he's. So. Come on now. What? What happened? Come on, come on. Come on. Keep him safe. He might come back to try and finish the job. Oh God. He's wait. He's on. Fucking bastard. Bastard! Which one was Dominic? <laughs> bastard! He's been... He's been present for everything! Which one's Dominic? For absolutely everything! The, the one that befriended everyone in the fucking tavern! Long hair! That's been working with Nicholas and, 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 and Kat! Fuck! Where is he? Who? I need to... What? Where He's is in he? the infirmary! Quickly! What happened? He's been stabbed twice! Dominic! That fucking bastard! He's, he stabbed Mirandel twice! What? Set the scribery what? on fire! Where? What? Are you, are you the word, he's God's the rat. Been... Yes, he must be. I'm going to help you now. The one who went to the tavern, Dominic. The one Dominic. named Dominic. He there. almost killed the fucking scribe. The fuck? He didn't pass us. And everybody's fucking asleep. Well, God damn it, hell. I was sparring with the fucking sergeant a few days ago. He didn't pass us, we're up Kyla, in the tower. Get to a high point. Right. You can see in the dark.
Hey! Stay where you are. Don't try me. You know I move better in the night than you do. Down your shit. Why? They have my family. And come back and explain it. Maybe we can work a deal. We can help you out through this. We're not bad people, Dominic. You've seen the people to know. Yes. It's not helping me. We can help you. Just put it down. The moment they ever... They don't need to know. Look, right now it's just me and you. Okay. Tarek! The fucking... He got taken. They knew about him. Yeah, because someone sold him out. If you work with us, we won't sell you out. Don't do it. Put it down. We can work this out and you can help the people here. You know they're not bad people. You've been around them for so fucking long. You don't want to do this, you're being forced to do this, so let us help you. I can't take the chance. You can take the chance, just put it down and let us help you. It's fine. Just put it down. Let us help you. Make this easy. Fucking empire. <laughs> Careful, he's fast. Carlos, your bowels are deflected. No ordinary sword, son. Avocado works to fire an arrow. More towards the lake. For three, she missed completely. Be careful. Collar discipline is strong, dangerous. Look at your armor. It's been slashed, but you are fine. Put down the sword and let us help you. Stop talking, Lucien, and put a fucking arrow on his chest. Back to the wall, it is hard to get a sneak attack in. Hit him in under the rib, I suppose. Trusted him. Everyone heard. Fuck! 
Depends how much he's sent through. A courier left this morning. So everything we said tonight hasn't been. Fuck, Lucian. Shit. What's his wound? He's been stabbed with the chest. the chest. Fuck! I'm gonna roll my Take sleeve. him back. I'm unwrapping a bandage that I had on me. Yeah. yeah. He's lifting you up, Lucian. Fuck! I'm gonna pack it. Can you do something with this, aren't I? I don't know medical stuff. With a six, it All gets wet very quickly. He is bleeding heavily. Bring him to the infirmary. Right. I'm dragging. I have to drag this bastard over there. Come on. Come on, Lucian. Deep breaths. Oh, fuck's sake. Get the guardsmen to open the gates. Oh, thank fucking god. I'm trying to. They said they were stabbed along the wall. What? I don't know if there's any left. What happened to no... him? He got stabbed as well. We killed the cunt, though. Guardsmen! You killed him? Thank god. Mary guardsmen! The, the tablet is still in his fucking... We need to get the tablet. No. Before it burns down. I assume there's guardsmen up there. He's for sure dead. He's... I, watch. I assume two, but they're not fucking answering. Oh, fuck. I've been yelling at them for the past five minutes. God, please. Captain! Open up the gates. Please. Come on, come on. Get him inside. He's been stabbed. Let's go. I want to go to the scribery now. If it's not already burnt down. A scribery? Mm. Yes. Why? Do we? Okay. There is a tablet. Tablet? I thought that thing exploded. The other one. He had two. The one. The second one. He picked up another one. I didn't realize. Let's go. Right, right, I know where it is. Right. This way. <laughs> and I hope that it's here. Pocket it. That's where we said it was. Grab anything else. Let's get higher. Right, let's go. Where's Mirandel? Good. We killed him. Safe. No one. Thank you. Well done. 
Yeah, uh, actually, tell me what, what did you get there? Okay. So he got a blood loss potion, he got the uh, Adrasal Salve for the uh, deep stab. Yes, sir. And then he got a regular uh, healing salve for everything else. Yeah, then he's completely fine. The wounds were worse than they seemed. Man, How the fuck is he not describing? I think he was there before we even arrived. What? Mirandel. Well, and you killed him. Unless you for sure killed him. he was in the wrong place. He, he was helping us. Oh, it took three of us to take him down. Mm. Oh my god. Even with an arrow in his fucking chest. The man was an expert with the sword. What the hell? I'm glad you showed up when you did. I was stalling for as long as I fucking could. I knew I couldn't take him. I only heard because of you talking. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Mirandel. He has been at the tavern since he got here. He has heard everything that has ever been spoken about, either from the guards when they are drunk, or any of the fucking common folk in their conspiratorial conversations. And anything that he was present for in the scribery, he has fucking heard everything. He would know about everything. He would know about the caves. He would know about Gillimore. He would know about our conversation that just fucking took place. Do you think he had time to get a message out? I don't know. Fuck. I would assume so. Why else God. would he go for the kill? Right. That seems like a very finite thing to know about. He wants we can to stop us from getting... Him. He wants to stop us from getting to the last one. The one that we yes, suspect. Him. You know where it is. Yes, Word have already been sent. Something. Fuck! He would... Oh, it makes fucking sense. He was always on the fucking walls or hanging out in the towers. Even Sporeen with me. He's been counting our men. He's Supplies. State of the castle. Uh, Fuck. Lord's coming and going. They know everything. Bloody me. Fucking bad. He knows every lord that's here. Guardsman! 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 You have to report to Captain Amelia <clears throat> or to advise him that the Imperial spies here no. will know of every single they will know that the king is here. You have opens his coat and shows you the uh second tablet. Keep watching it. Assuming it's there. That wasn't a DM, so I'm pretty sure you got it. Did okay, cool. say that there was a courier that went out or something that looks like a courier that went out? In the, after you left, yes. in the middle of the night after we left. Oh. He's been sending the last that might have been the last correspondence yes. they sent out. Charlie, we don't know. We don't know. We can't know, assume but... that he doesn't know what we already what we just heard. That's why he know. That's why he should have killed Miranda. Dominic as a cousin. <sighs> Damn, that's good, but uh Kyla's not thinking about that right now. What? That's right. Dominic was the son of the Yalmin in Elry. Oh my god, that's right. He even said so. He said that... Oh my god. What does that mean? <laughs> we were saying it lines up perfectly, and we didn't even suspect him. Not for an instant. That would mean they could have influence in Elry. That would mean there could be a staging point in Elry. That means there could be men massing in Elry within our own border. We don't even know. We don't know if they have other gates already. Already at the border. <laughs> They've already breached the border. They're completely already inside Ireland. <sighs> I've got to think. Calm ourselves. Calm our thoughts. Right. The well, he was spouting something. It might have been lies. What was he saying? They had his family or something? Yes. Tried to... yes. He said that, yes. It's entirely possible that that's true. The swordsmanship makes me not believe it. But it is possible. It could be that Elry's not compromised. But you have to find out if the Yalmin was still there. If they really do have his family, they would not be present anymore. We have to go. We can't. 
We have to go to the... somewhere. I sent you information that Arnold told me. Oh, it's a joke. Fuck. Keep it. What about the others in the meantime? Oh, there's one. Yeah, there's two on stage. Good. Coming along. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's something we can convene about, but right now I think we are out of time. I honestly think that that was it. I think that that was the last nail in the fucking coffin. Because that would mean that they know that we are aware. And they will assume that those in charge know that their way of travel may be in danger. They'll use it. They'll start using it. That's so <sighs> we have. Should we tell about the gates so that they do know? What good will that do now? I don't know Keep what the right answer is anymore. Is there even anything we Secure. can do at this point? Yeah, you, you say this. Oh, that's right. Then I can tell you for a fact that there are Alaran, Aralandi lords that do not have loyalty to this kingdom. And we don't know who is present. I we could never get the records. Life. Fuck. What do you mean that's not true, Mirandel? We don't know where they are. We don't know how they work. We don't know there if you no fix one eyes. end of them, the other one works. There's, that is true. But well, it's not true that we don't have any hope. And how do we know they're not fucking under our feet right now? Everything we would be saying is just a guess. <coughs> well, how could he have gotten a message out that quickly? Yeah, Surely. Fuck. Up. Check the stables. <sighs> God, I need to get up. <laughs> uh, sorry. Fuck. The front gate was closed, surely. There were guards posted there in case he escaped. We could ask them. What the fuck? Why were there not guards there before? There were, before? Not, there were guards, but the gate was open. And he was. Did you see? Three, Fuck. four, five. Where's the sixth? One, two, three, four. Fuck! Fuck! No. There was no. Yeah, I came through here earlier thinking Dominic might have run. That means they must have left recently, before we closed the palisade. He sent a courier as soon as he. And then went up to Jerusalem. And, and then went up to finish job, yes. Oh my god. Fuck. Did I miscount when we came in before? I came in, in this morning and I counted. I have no idea. Let me think if there's the same I amount of horses are here. When I was looking for Dominic. I might have been wrong. Mm. Fuck, he might have been gone this whole time. <sighs> there's no way to know. I came through this morning. There is a horse missing. There is a horse missing. There's definitely a horse missing. I checked this morning. Fuck. Operate right. off the assumption that anything is out there. Yes. When I ran through earlier, I thought I had counted them properly to see if Dominic had left. <sighs> Fuck. God fucking damn it.
that chase it down, he's on horseback. Remember, Sarah's been the one looking for the messenger half the time as well. is there we don't have a lot of time we're completely out of time we will go we're By gonna be we going to make tomorrow. our way down there we're leaving literally in maybe 30 minutes all they have to do is walk through one gameplay and get into the other by the time that horse reaches there they could already be here who would know the answer of how to prevent them from using it would be that order. sure that he is not also in on this. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. But either. Then why risk it? <laughs> He's going to wonder why an Imperial spy decided to try to assassinate his scribe. Could get the information out of me. Take care of her, Lucian.
Considering you're carrying that blade about, I assume there's still trouble. No. It's fine. There's always trouble in Ledford. Sapphire well, Blades, boys, you're in for a fight. I don't have very many belongings. <sighs> but... If you don't want to sleep on the floor... Well, I guess you have one's bed. God. Just... Sleep in his bed. You remember what I said. Make sure you keep yourself safe and everyone else. Of course. I don't know when the next time I'll be seeing this place. Soon, hopefully. Yes. After yourself, you look after Ron, okay? You too. Promise. Okay. Good. Liv. And I'll do the same. See you soon. There you are. Give me a hand, will you? In the uh, forge, there is a crate against the wall. Hmm? Bring it to the stable. Right. <coughs> Thank you. I'm gonna pretend I have the key. Oh, you 
one else wants to turn a fucking attack this scribe. What's that like? The second one? Second attack. Draw magic. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Heat up, horsey. Splotches has gone from the house, just so you know. I haven't been in the house yet, but yeah. <sighs> I was in the tavern. Did I see it in there? Him in there? You have not seen splotches all day. Both my cats are leaving. Said to meet me here. Jane. And um everything else. Relax. Should have everything we need, yeah. Yes. Right. You're gonna be fine. You've got Arn. Arn's got you. Alright. Got his back and he's got mine. Exactly. Theoretically Nothing there's no way someone that. could sneak up on you and get an advantage, right? If you've got each other's Exactly. So you're completely safe and completely fine. We had a 100% advantage. I, um... Said something to Sarah with today, but... I want you to know that's not how I see it. But I'm doing it to defend you. I... Thank you. I you my property. That's not how I see it. But if that's how she sees it, you stay away from, as long as you stay away from her. Yeah. I understand. Okay. Come on now. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Let's get a second one for you right there. Start packing your right. shit to it. Right. Right. That is fine. Make sure you strap it down properly. I did. You know I did. That's right, you are the rope master, aren't you?
Um, I have to ask Arn. I know it's been a lot of emotion. Did you drop that stuff off with the end up? Say again? Did you drop that stuff off with the end up? Yes, it's in the apothecary. Okay. You might have to let her know it's there, however. Okay. I'm sure she'll figure it out. I would hope she figures it out. I do too. I have a feeling she knows. I have a feeling she knows. Oh. <laughs> just so That's just me. Everything should be ready to go. Yes. You have what you need? I do. I got supplies from the nurse as well. Earlier. Good. Look after each other, okay? Boo -boo. I'll see you soon. You know that. We'll be back in a bit. Yeah. They, um... Yeah. I love you, Carla. Love you, Dad. Put that in mind. Ride safe. Well, we will. Can't help but ride safe. I don't have much of a choice. Good. I know you'd give me shit if I didn't. Andy. Squeezes you. Relax. Thank you. Get it since there's no guards here. Oh, Ooh, halt. All right for a stroll. Bye. Thank you, guards. Thank you. Esteemed.
Until you return. So much lots in one day. Splotches? Yeah, probably at a tavern. If it makes his bed. 